Hey guys, today's video will be hosted by Rob. So let's get into it. Just to keep your heads up, the side of which the fake and real iPhone will vary, so just keep an eye on that. As you can see, the fake iPhone box is slightly taller than the real one. The stickers are placed differently, the left being the real one and the right being the fake. <laughs> As we open the box, the iPhone is presented differently as the fake iPhone comes in the wrapper. Although one is fake, they both look similar, but the bottom here it shows different symbols on the real one, whereas in the fake one, there's none. The screws on the fake iPhone which is at the bottom is slightly larger than the one on the real iPhone. Over here, we see that the top section of the fake iPhone has a bump, whereas the real one doesn't. But don't get confused with the tempered glass. The camera on the fake iPhone is much smaller than the real one. Also, the antenna bands are more wider and it is placed more inside the phone than on top. What we have here is a slow footage of us pressing the power button at the same time and unlocking the phone. The fake iPhone is running some sort of Android, whereas the real iPhone runs on iOS. I didn't show any clips of this, but when you do turn in the fake iPhone, it shows Android full screen. That is a major giveaway. <laughs> Things inside the box aren't going to be exactly the same in the real iPhone box as I have used the iPhone before. But on the real iPhone, even the box, you can see there's an apple sign. The inbuilt charger also is a different color and has different color writing as well. The real iPhone charging wire feels better than the fake one, but the wires don't come exactly like that. Yeah. On the fake iPhone, there's no 3D touch, and I found out that. The fake iPhone has only 16 megabytes of data. And finally, we have the real iPhone camera versus the fake one. This brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and peace. Bye.